a pretty chill workout today. Today I'm doing back squat with the good old snatch accessories. Started to like my snatch accessories more than my clean and jerk accessories, almost because they're harder. Like, it takes a lot more um, technique to do snatch shit, but you know, the movements are honestly just more dynamic, so it just, it feels like, it feels like I'm a gymnast sometimes. But anyway, uh, it is still pause week, which has been going good. I'm, you know, I'm trying to prime myself for when I do a bunch of volume next week with heavier weight. So everything's feeling good. Just pause reps make my head feel like they're gonna explode. Uh, but tomorrow's the last day of the pause week. And then we'll take a rest day and start the rip and rip week with some heavier weight and more volume. Um, doing pause back squat to start, like same thing as the other day, just sets of six going up to 70. That should be great. I'm gonna really focus on getting that really tight abdomen, like getting all the air inside. Um, even make it back <laughs> I don't know I literally just put my phone in the glove box and just fucking run it but it is what it is we love to talk uh, but you know I'm gonna just focus on keeping all the air in my abdomen keeping my low back really tight and my hips tight so that my knees don't cave um, and just gonna really make sure I get that like ass to ankle almost depth just enough to where I'm not actually butt winking because like so many people will go down and they'll think oh I gotta touch my ankles so let's just butt wink the shit out of it but they don't realize that that completely loosens their uh, low back and their core so it makes it very it makes you very susceptible to actually getting injured or pulling a muscle way more often I know I've done that shit more than once uh, so I'm just I'm gonna go past the grass obviously with long femurs and not butt winking I'm not gonna touch the fucking floor with my ass but I'm gonna get close as shit at least and that's nice um, otherwise uh, I have slow tempo power snatch I am very excited for those because power snatch is already fun because like Power cleans are nice because they're pretty easy. Same thing with power snatch, but again, with power snatch, I really feel like I'm still utilizing a lot more technique. In power clean, you kind of just have to meet the bar there, and then you can just hold it with the brunt of your body without worrying about where your arms are at. But then power snatch, so you can just, you gotta really land perfectly, like on the center of your feet, on your midfoot. And that shit feels so nice when you just like perfectly crease the hip and then also lock out at the top without leaning forward or backward. So I think that integrating the slow tempo pull on the way up is gonna really uh, get my form in check and make me very consistent. Uh, and then I'm ending with snatch push press uh, and I'm doing pause, as, you know, cause it's pause week, so. Um, yeah, I know you might be thinking, I might be pausing in the top of the snatch push press. I don't really think that does anything for you unless you have really weak wrist and you want to get your wrist tendons more conditioned, but that just kind of happens naturally when you do Olympic. So no, we don't pause at the top because you can hold it up there for as long as you want. It probably isn't going to be a big issue. Like your body's probably going to be fine. So we're going to pause on the dip down and then squeeze up as hard as we can with our butt and holding our core tight while keeping the bar directly over our neck where it aligns with our spine so that you don't know, wibble wobble because I, I don't know who else has done this shit but I know every now and then I, I again when I get tired or I'm not thinking about my form as much as I should be I do this shit but I'll get a really good push but I won't brace my core enough and so on the way up you feel that little woo and your low back will kind of try to give out and you got to bring it back and you like kind of have a come to Jesus moment. Like it feels like you just entered the gates of fucking heaven. But I think it's gonna go great, you know? And that's all I can do. So you will see me afterward. I might just be in a fucking ambulance at the end of it. You never know. I kinda, some days I think of like how funny it would be if I did like an intro like this, where I'm all excited and pumped up, drinking my caffeine, 
and then I just go to absolutely destroy my body. And I'm just, I, I, you'll, you'll see the worst of me. When I get an injury, no matter how minor, if it's like two days or some shit, I get pissed off. It's goddamn, nobody likes to get injured. I just want to go to the gym. I don't like going to the gym just to stretch, let alone do cardio. So we'll see how it goes, but I got high hopes. <laughs> workout today honestly everything was very low-key felt a little more energized than I anticipated but that's never a bad thing um, back squat with the pauses were deep as hell I started recording them from the front because I wanted to just see what it looked like and I always thought that I wasn't getting as ass to grass as I could have been but it turns out uh, my core like my 
where my, uh, where like, uh, oh man, where my sternum ends uh, at the lower part, um, that's like where my knees were. That's kind of crazy. My core was deep in the squat and that is what matters. Um, you know, I kept my shit together. Wow, you're just gonna get my head. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, but yeah, no, it was very, very solid. You know, the normal feeling like my head's gonna explode because I have to pause for a really long time. But, you know, um, damn. I just fixed my coolant system in my car today. I know my tires want to be refilled, but I'm going to neglect them for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, no, squats were great. No issues whatsoever. Got to fuck around with my girlfriend. She likes trying to distract me. It's honestly kind of good for my mental focus, but also, you know, it just makes it more enjoyable sometimes. Um, and then I did a slow tempo power snatch. That also felt really good. It felt like a little wonky at first, but I'm not gonna lie, like really focusing on the slowness of the first and second pull and then speeding up on the third pull has made me really uh, find potential flaws in my form when I'm doing normal form without pausing or going slow tempo. So it's been a great learning experience. Everything was really snappy. You know, I didn't go heavy, but that's what it's supposed to be. I'm conditioning myself to do better so that I can kill it next week. Uh, then ended with the pause in the dip uh, snatch push press and my low back core was a little tired but nothing I couldn't work through you know it felt really really solid um, it's just a matter of uh, keeping my the air in my dive the air in my diaphragm and making sure I had a really good pause on my midfoot not on my heels not on my toes and not even like People think that midfoot means the center of your foot. It means, like, the midfoot is where your ankle connects to your foot, similar to how you want the bar uh, to line up with your spine. Uh, so, like, the best position for the bar is, like, on top of your traps where it perfectly lines up with your spine. Because it just, like, I, of course you can low bar if you want, but it's just safer over time. It's, of course, going to be harder to do high bar, but that's the whole point training your core more than your low back and quads um but, you know i just kept that really solid midfoot in the pause and had really good squeezes on the way up uh the clinch of the gluteus is the biggest thing that i feel is slept on at least with me i know i used to never do the butt clench on the way up and it's hard to mentally make yourself do it but once you get that fine-tuned like clench and push right at the same time as weird as it may sound you really get a very explosive lockout uh almost feels like i'm trying to power jerk sometimes even though i'm still pressing it because i'm not letting my knees bounce when i get back to the bottom but yeah no otherwise just i had a great time with the homies today that's what everybody needs when they're at the gym you just need to hang out with your homies enjoy life for a little bit forget about what's happening on the outside of that gym because not for the sake of lifting weights but the sake of you know, you have you can have a shit, shit day. I know at least I can. And if I go to the gym and I have a really solid workout and I get to meet the homies and hang out and just shoot the shit for a couple hours, I just, I feel rejuvenated, you know? Nothing beats it, in my opinion. I think it's some of the best therapy you can do. Just going to the gym to be healthy, but also going to the gym to be more social and just, you know, humans need human interaction. It's just down to our biological DNA. Like, if you're in a shit spot and you feel depressed or you feel anxious about whatever you're doing in life, go see people. It can be at a club, it can be at class, it can be at the gym, it can be anywhere, at Chick-fil-A, shit. I mean, wherever you want it to be, just be around other people, preferably people that you can talk to because then you get to get your shit out. I know, I just, I'll dump on people when I'm at the gym, it's great. Um, you know, because we all just want someone to listen to us, give us a little bit of that attention that we might not be getting or deserved in the shit part of our days. But that's how everything is, you know? When shit gets you fucked up, it's not about going through that shit, it's about getting over the shit when you're done with it. 
you know? Take that shit, cry about the shit, eat the shit. But when you're done with the shit, throw it over the fence like you would, typically, you know? That's at least how I feel about it. I'm a lot happier because of that. You know, not everything goes the way you want it to. You might not be where you want to be right now, but you will be as long as you put in that effort. It might not feel like a lot of effort, but any effort's effort, you know? So give yourself some credit, a little pat on the back, handshakes all around. But yeah, it's a little weird that this is just coming from my head because I kind of look like I'm decapitated, but whatever. This can, if this makes anybody happy. I mean, shit, doesn't matter if it makes anybody else happy. It makes me happy talking about this shit. So, I already made one person happy. So, anybody after that's just a plus. So, I hope the rest of the people, whoever might watch this in the future, gets to really feel the way I'm feeling at some point. But, enjoy life for a little bit, because tomorrow, we're gonna do some hard-ass clean and jerk accessories. So, gonna be great.